Um, sorry, this is such like a super weird filming location. I am just in my hotel room here um, for the Canadian Nail Tech Convention, and I kind of I meant to film this video like. I guess before I, I came here or whatever, but I just, I never got around to it, but um, I wanted to film a video to let you guys know kind of like the nail stuff I travel with whenever I go on convention or go to conventions or go to workshops or anything. So I'm just going to show you like my nail travel case and like what I pack whenever I go to shows. Um, usually whenever you take like a, like a, a workshop or you go to a show or something, they kind of give you like a list of what to bring. So, um, like in, in this situation, I'm taking a workshop tomorrow with Angela Beer and she's teaching like a, a 3D nail art class. And so she gave us a list of everything that we needed to bring. So I'm just going to show you some of the things that she told me to bring as well as, I guess, just some extras. And I should say the reason I'm filming in the bathroom here, I know that's like a super weird location to film from, but, um, it has the best lighting in the hotel room. Like I guess bathrooms pretty much always have the best lighting, right? So that's why I'm filming in the bathroom. So I'm sorry that it's like a, a super weird location to film in, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to side note that. So anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so whenever I travel to any sort of like nail um, conventions or workshops or anything like that, um, I always bring this case. Um, I got it from NYX, so NYX. So if you're a big fan of like makeup or anything, um, then you know that NYX is just like a cosmetic company line. So as nail techs, I believe we get 30% off at NYX. So I bought this on the NYX website and it works really well for makeup, it's not the best for nails, but um, for this sort of workshop, I didn't really need like a huge container, so I just kind of brought this one with me. And then I have my new bar zebra lamp with me as well. Um, I did have to bring a UV light to the workshop that I'm taking tomorrow, so I brought this new bar UV light. The reason I bought brought this new bar one um, is because if you guys have watched my videos before, um, I'm not very happy with this light, so it isn't one I'm going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis, but I'm going to keep it for like traveling. So I brought that one. Okay, so this is my NYX makeup travel case. And it's really nice because it's got like these pockets on the side here, so it holds everything together. And then it's got like a really good zipper compartment here, as well as the NYX makeup train case is super sturdy. Um, it's a, a like a really tough material. It's really well built. I bought this because I was doing some makeup for a wedding that I went to and um, I've actually ended up using it for a lot more nail things than makeup things. So I'm just going to open it up and show you guys what I'm bringing to this workshop. Okay, so the first thing on top here is a brush holder and it just holds all of my nail art brushes. Um, search online to kind of look for a brush holder like this. Um, I honestly cannot remember where I got this from. But if you search for like a nail art brush holder or a travel brush holder, you'll be able to find something. So because I'm taking a 3D workshop, I am bringing my Accents 3D brushes or Accents gel brushes that I got from DK Beauty the last time that I was there. So one of them is designed for 3D and then one of them, um, the last two are designed to just work with gel. And the workshop that I'm taking is um, both 3D gel and acrylic. So these are my gel brushes and then this is this purple one here from Crystal Nails is a 3D, what does it say, mini 3D. So it's a mini 3D art, uh, acrylic art brush. And then these are my Crystal Nails brushes that I featured before. I have my Aqua Wild brush and then I also just have like a zero short brush. So it's just a really small, fine point brush. Um, this brush I got from New Bar. Let's see. New Bar, New Bar art brush small. And then if you can see here, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see because the lighting is actually super crappy in here, but um, I just cut a bunch of the brush hairs off there so that it would be like a really fine, almost striping detailed brush. And then I've got like a, a tool that I would use to pick up crystals. I've got another brush that I bought in another workshop. I've never even used this. I have just a basic acrylic brush. I have some nail pinchers, some tweezers, two dotting tools, and then I have three gel brushes. So this one I'm using currently on my clients and then I just brought a brand new one and then um, another brand new one from Light Elegance. And this brush holder is really nice because you can see here, you just hold it up and you can carry it like that, but it can also pop up and like hold your brushes as like a stand. So when you're actually taking your art course, you can just set your brushes up like this. So I really like this. Um, again, if I can remember where I got this from, I'll post it in the description box below, but if not, I'll try and do some research and see if I can find where else you can get this from. So it's not required in the class to bring like your own 3D gels. But LCN has um, some 3D gels, and I don't think they carry these anymore. I think these are discontinued, but I ended up, I don't even know where I got these all from. Like, I honestly think 
a nail tech was just clearing out her collection and she on it like she sent them to me so I just have like all of the LCN 3D gels and I'm just gonna open one up here and show you what they look like okay and they all just kind of look like this so they're just really thick gels like I mean nothing's gonna move in there so they're just really really thick gels so again my art class that I'm taking tomorrow it didn't require that you bring these but I just kind of thought that if she was teaching us how to work with 3D gels maybe this would be easier and I never use these anyway so I thought I would bring them and she said that um, she asked to bring like any sort of embellishments that you wanted so I brought um, some crystals I just have here like a yellow one what is this one I didn't even label this one it's just a yellow one um, clear crystals some pink ones light rose and then this one I believe is my Providence lavender I love this one so I just kind of figured if we were doing some flowers I might want like some yellow centers clear is just always a good go-to and then some pink and purple because I love pink and purple she asked us to bring um, like a builder gel as well as just like a kind of thinner viscosity self-leveling gel. So I brought my half fat that I use all the time and then I brought um, Fat 5 from Nail Innovations which is just like a thicker um, gel. So that way I kind of have my bases covered depending on what we're going to do. These are just the sample sizes that I got when I contacted Nail Innovations and asked for a sample kit. Um, and then I just put some of my older gel into these so then I that way it's just like a little travel size for the workshop I don't anticipate I'll need anything more than that and then these expand out like this which is super awesome so I'll give you kind of like a full look of how it looks and that's kind of just how the makeup train case looks and then back here it's got like a zipper compartment and you can obviously see that I've used this for traveling with makeup because there's some bobby pins left in there um, the next things if you watched my uh, recent spring favorites video, you saw the watercolor paints that I use. I don't know why, but for some reason I kind of figured I might need some sort of paint. So I just brought these like small version of watercolor paints. Um, and you can open them up. When you open them up, this is just kind of what they look like. So they all come wrapped like this, and then this is like an opened one. Um, so I just brought that in case I needed like any sort of paints or anything. She did ask us to bring like acrylic paint if, if that's what we wanted to, but I, I brought water paints just in case. Um, here I just have some sanding bands. These are the zebra sanding bands that I like. These are the medium grit sanding bands. Um, just like a little, what is this, um, sanding band holder thing, I guess. And then this container here um, is for crystals or like 3D embellishments. You would just dump all your crystals in there and then they were, they're not going to leak anywhere. So I brought one of those. Whenever I travel to nail art workshops, I always kind of want to set my table up like how I would work if I was doing nails at my table. So I kind of bring things that are familiar for me. So I brought my holder that I um, keep all my wipes in and then I just brought like the wipes that I use. Um, and then in, in addition to that, I brought like a, a container full of alcohol, which I use for the nail wipes for gel. And I also brought like a face cloth here because I always have a cloth to wipe my hands on if they get too covered with gel. So those are just like little things that are just um, for me. So again, I have um, just a bowl to put some water in if need be. I actually, I'm, I'm going to go to Shoppers after this and I think I'm going to pick up just like a little container, a really small thing of water. That way, if there is no water there, then I'll, I'll just be able to keep it in here and I can put it in my bowl if I need it. Um, again, just like my holder for my wipes. And then what else is in here? This is that uh, grip and tip polish holder. So I just, I don't know, I love this thing so much and I was thinking, oh, you might need this. So I brought that. Um, I bought some of my NOP brush on sealant for crystals. They asked us to bring like a nail glue and hopefully this will suffice. I don't, I don't use nail glue because I don't do tips, but hopefully this will work if I need a nail glue. I have, um, she asked us to bring like a soak off white gel polish. So I brought this um, Luxio in Pure. So it's a really nice uh, white gel polish. She asked us to bring a top gloss. So I brought my uh, Elite Crystal Shine. Um, and again, this is just, if you've watched my videos before, then you know um, this is one of my favorite whites. It's a OBI gel polish in Alpine Snow. It's just like a creamy white. It's a really, really nice white. So I wasn't sure what we'd need the white for, so I just brought two. Um, I brought a little lotion because I'm obsessed with lotion and obviously might need it. Brought a little cuticle oil just in case, in case I'm taking pictures and want my nails to look better. Um, I wasn't, she didn't ask us to bring any acrylic, but I just kind of thought maybe I might need it. So I brought like a little dampening dish. And then I brought um, just a clear acrylic, just, just in case I needed just a clear acrylic. But again, she didn't ask us to bring that, so those are just extras that I decided to pack. This little pouch thing is nice here because when you close it up, it still like allows you to have some of like the bigger items in there. Um, and so 
these are just some of the bigger items I brought. This actually, I told you it's a face cloth, but my e-file handpiece is wrapped in this. The very first day I took my nail training, I dropped my e-file handpiece and I had to um, immediately get like a new one and it cost me like $300 and it pissed me off. And so I'm, I'm paranoid to drop this thing. So I, I always wrap it up really good whenever I'm traveling with it. I do want to look at getting a, a traveling one. I will eventually have a, a travel e-file, but um, yeah, so that's what's in there. And then inside here, I just brought some monomer. I wasn't too sure if I would need this, but I thought I would bring it. This is from Elite Beauty Supplies as well. I brought some of my LCN Super Shine Finish Cleaner, which um, shines up your nails super nice if you need to bring back shine or take pictures or anything. So I brought one of those. Brought a nail brush just in case I need to wipe away night, um, dust. Brought a few files here. And then I brought a tile that I used like for paint or um, nail glue or anything like that. I should have actually brought my ring thing. I meant to pack that, but I didn't even, I didn't even pack that, so that sucks. And then I'll just, I'll show you um, the handpiece, what the handpiece looks like. So this is, um, I use an Erica MT20, and so this is the handpiece that, that it comes with. Um, and in here I just have my e-file. Um, it actually feels really nice in this cubby here. So I have my e-file, like the cord, and then this is like the resting piece for my e-file. And then over here on these other, this other little pocket here, I just have some uh, buffer blocks in case I need them. Um, these little things. <laughs> They're actually like designed for like eyelash glue, I think is what they're for. But I use these to pick up nail glue and then um, put it on the nail and then attach my crystal. So I just brought a few of these in case I needed them. Again, I just like to bring things that I work with on a daily basis so that I don't feel like completely out of my realm. <laughs> um, she also said like bring any other embellishments that you want. So I had this little pack of like 3D bows. I highly doubt I'll use this because it's a 3D class so we're probably learning how to make bows. but. I just thought I'd bring them in case there, if there was anything that I needed. And then I brought, again, she asked us to bring some paint. So I brought my favorite Orly Instant Artists in um, a black and white because typically the art you do is going to be in a black and white. And then if I need any other, other paints, I can hopefully just make it work with like the water paints over here that I brought. So yeah, this is um, just everything I brought for the nail art workshop that I'm taking tomorrow. Um, I'm not really sure if it would have like helped you guys or anything, but maybe it gives you an idea of some of the things that... I take with me when I travel and maybe there's something here that kind of like grabbed your interest or something that you would like to try. Um, I'll post in the description box below where I got all of these things if I can find links for it and give you some more information there. So make sure you check there. Comment below if you have any questions or if you're attending this event, um, let me know. I've, I've met a couple people already and I would love to meet more of you if you guys are here. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!